Hi, it's and welcome to Jen's YouTube channel. I do paranormal videos at night or try to. It's Thursday the 9th of May about 10 to 7. So welcome if you're new and welcome if you've seen them before. Now on Easter Sunday I captured a yellow orb and then about two nights ago I captured the same yellow orb. Now the first time I captured the yellow orb people dismissed it as an insect. There's no insects and I didn't and when there's insects if there ever is an insect there's only one or so and I can see insects with my eyes. I cannot, I did not and could not see those yellow orbs with my eyes and I cannot see my orbs with the eyes. Only looking through the camera with the flashlight on could I see them. And when insects do, if they, if they do appear and it's very rare because they're so tiny if I do happen to capture them on my channel, uh, sorry, on my video, they're like, like a thin silver streak, like a, like a line, not a round orb. And I'm still waiting. I'm not very gifted with technology, so I'm still waiting for someone or my son to help me cut the video that I took the other day of that yellow orb. So watch this space, we'll try and capture it. Now for those of you who know, every other light is off in the house, only this light. Look, there's no insects, people. Nowhere. And the only light is TV, it's a, um, Spotify down the rabbit hole, Flat Earth. I'll give a shout to Flat Earth uh, or to the rabbit hole um, podcast. I'll also give a shout to Nick Ryan on Paranormal. Nick Ryan's Paranormal is an absolutely good podcast to watch or listen to on Spotify. So this is what I do. I turn off the light, now you can see it's dark, and I turn on the flashlight. Did you see that orb just come over the, the tile, the white tile? Now I can't see orbs with my eyes, I can see insects with my eyes. I'm just going to go around and look. The motion detector is off. And it shouldn't be off because, oh, there's a big orb. Because these motion detectors that I bought work only at night time. But the funny thing is, it seems like it wants to catch my attention. I'll go, I've got my EMF, and I'll sit down here. And look, I go to sit down, and there goes, there goes the um, the the trigger. And look, look, the there you go. The other thing is. For that light that you're seeing, that different colored light to come off, the spirit has to have come from the dark over here, from where my lights are going off because the motion detector is only affected from the right. So you have to go right up to the right. Now we'll go back over here. So as I said, this only happens in the dark. Look how out of focus that is. Hello, beloved.
And I can't possibly do that with the EMF. I can only turn the EMF on and off. I can't make the lights go like that. Wow. This is the most active the EMF has been. I'll be quiet. Yeah? Explain why it would suddenly stop. And there's nothing electrical over there. There's just urns. My husband's urn of ashes and two urns. And there we go. Why is it turned off? I'm just going to put the EMF down. I really hope that I could capture that yellow orb again. I think I just got lucky. I think I just got lucky both times. Look, so watch. I'll go and pretend to ignore my husband, my beloved, and sit down. No, look, it hasn't come. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's come on again. I can't affect that. I'll show you. I'll show you. I've only got one green light at the moment. Sitting on, there we are. I'm not holding that EMF. It's on my um, chair. And this is the only way, look at that, this is the only way I can affect it. See, my thumb's not even on it, it's just resting on the, my hand. Look, there's the pretty colours, I've just proven. Anyway, I, before, when I was sitting down, I would have been about nine foot, you're about nine foot away. I am now about seven, seven foot away. But from, can you see my hand? Yeah, that black shadow. The spirit has to have come from here, so over where it's dark to turn that light on because the motion the light that colored light is motion is facing the back I am now very close let's stand here for a few minutes this video may go on for a while but I just want to prove it's not me Hello, beloved Rob. Five days. Oh, see? Just hold on. See? See, it's not me. Look. I love that yellow orb. Look. The other motion detector's on, which means this time... The spirits come from the left. Otherwise, that other colourful light will be on. I've got two motion detectors on there. I've got one that's supposed to be like a, a toilet thing that helps you see. And it wasn't working in my toilet, so I put it out here. And the other one's just a normal motion detector that works in the dark. So the other one... That's very isolated. Look, it's off. I'm going to go over it. Oh, I backed off. The motion detector is on. And again, I can't affect it because the mo that motion detector behind it is a heavy candle. And the candle, it's not see-through. It's, um, 
of a brown colour. Look how out of focus we're getting. Hello, beloved. And off we go again. Still out of focus. Beloved, could you do that beautiful yellow orb in front of me? Just in front of me. People seem to think it's a moth. So just fly in front of me. In front of it, what I'm holding up, this white light that is in my hands. I, the, the orb, for all I know, could be behind me. What's the other experiences I experience? I experience being touched, gentle touches, and they're on my back, like very, really tender touches. Then I'll walk away as if I'm going to ignore it. And look, as soon as I walk away, it comes on because he wants to, like, get my attention. Walk away, and he wants my attention. My son said something really funny. I said to him tonight, Oh, I won't tell you my son's name. Oh, you know that moth? Oh, no, I said, you know that yellow orb I caught on Easter Sunday? And he said, oh, yeah, the yellow moth. And I said, well, two nights ago, I caught another yellow orb. And he said, oh, it was the moth's mate come to see him. Funny, 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 funny. And I said, well, it's pretty funny if it's a moth. It just disappeared into my, you know, cane basket um, furniture. And he said, Mum, it hatched out of there and it just went home. He's funny. I, did you see that orb? Now, just out of interest, just before that came on, there was a little flying insect. I saw it with my eyes and it did not register with the camera. Now these flying insects are smaller than mosquitoes and they're not registering on my camera. My camera is a cheap camera, an unlocked phone that I bought for $240. So it's not going to be the best phone, and it would show up, you know. And I literally saw the insect just here, and it didn't register. We got that beautiful orb, and we got another beautiful orb, all coming from my husband's urn. Look, here's another one. They're not the bright yellow one that I caught, but they're still orbs. They're still orbs. And the other interesting thing is this haunting is localized. There's, in my bedroom, there's no orbs. And that kind of worries me because I'm thinking, is my husband... Oh, look. Is my husband, who died like in a veg... Oh, there he is. As soon as I said my husband, died in a vegetative state. Does he even know he's dead? Is he confused? Is it, He knows, like, obviously that's a spirit. And he, he knows that that must be his body. And is he... And I try to talk to him. But you've got to remember, this is four years on from his death. He probably doesn't even know who I am. Look how out of focus that is. And I've tried to ask him, does he need help to move on? 
That is so out of focus. Now, did you see that fall? That was not an insect either. Beloved, can we have a yellow orb? I don't know how much longer my flashlight's going to last, guys. Beloved, a yellow orb. Please? Because it's so out of focus, that says the spirit is standing just there somewhere. The other things I experience is temperatures. It gets... What was that? Did you see that orb? It just kind of like appeared out of nowhere. Just was there and it was gone, vanished. Look how out of focus. Hello, beloved. Can we have a manifestation? Please? A manifestation. Beloved. A beautiful yellow orb, you know. I think that yellow orb is him. I think the other orbs are just signs that there's a spirit. But that's so out of focus and I can't do that. Now, I just saw an insect fall from the sky and it didn't even register on my phone. That is so out of focus. And just to show, oh, just as I get closer, I know this is going to be a long video, I'm sorry. But why hasn't the other light come on? Look how close I am. The other, because the spirit has to come from this direction. But look, we're going to walk away in the dark. I'll turn my flashlight on so we can see. Hold on. Sorry for the dark, and I'll show you what happens. I'll show you. I'll go sit in my favourite seat. Here we are. So I'll go sit in my favourite seat. The motion detector's on at the moment. And look, as soon as I go to sit down, on comes. It's, so it's like he's doing this circular dance. Maybe he's following me around. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe he's following me. So he's going around here like that and following me and flying back around. What do you reckon? All right. Well, I've proven that, you know, he responds to that. But it's a pity we did not get a yellow orb. I will try one last time. Beloved, I am now at least 12 and a half feet away. Beloved, I have an orb, big yellow orb. No, sometimes I think you just have to be lucky. You can't, you know, and that just shows how authentic it is. You can't just say, because I think if I ca caught a yellow orb every time, yeah, you go there. You know, it's um, it's fake, it's manufactured, but the fact that I only caught it twice, it's not a moth. And just while we're seeing, I'm now right the other side of the room. I'm going to turn the light on. It's not supposed to work. That isn't, see how it's still lit, Lynn? That's not supposed to work in the light. That's not supposed, to, it's a nighttime motion detector. Can you see? It's not supposed to work. There we are, it's just turned off now. That is not supposed to work in the light time. With the light on, not the light time, there's a light. It's not supposed to work. So I'm sorry it's not interesting. I'm sorry I don't have 
things falling because this is my husband. My husband is not an evil man or wasn't an evil man and would not do awful things like throw things around and, you know, we're, we're not talking about poltergeist activity here. This man, we're talking about a loving spirit. And it's his birthday very soon, five days. He'll be 43. Thanks for watching. Love, light and blessings. Good night.